English 4, Quarter 3, Module 1, using adverbs in sentences. Objective. Use adverbs, adverbs of manner, place, and time in sentences. Hi, everybody! I am teacher Arlene S. Cementisa, your English teacher. Are you excited for our lesson today? Me too! Well... We will start by listening to a child's prayer. As we go along with our lesson, we will have some rules to observe. First, be ready with your module, paper, and pen. Second, no distractions, no toys, no TV, no gadgets. Third, microphone muted and cameras on so you can see your teacher and your classmates. Four, be respectful. Raise your hand if you want to speak and listen to your teacher and classmates and really thinking about your learning. With these rules, we will have fun and be able to learn as much as we want. Are you ready? Let us try. Pick out the words or phrases that describe adverbs in the following sentences. Write them in the space provided. Example, the bird was up on the tree. Answer, 
up on the tree. Now children, here are the following sentences. Number one, the visitor arrived on time. Number two, she speaks softly. Number three, outside the house, the children play. Number four, mother prepared the food well. Five, they went to bed early because they felt tired but happy. Now, I will give you two minutes to answer. Start now. Done? Let us check your answers. Number one, the visitor arrived on time. Answer, on time. Number two, she speaks softly. What is the correct answer? Softly. Number three, outside the house, the children play. Answer, outside the house. Number four, mother prepared the food well. Answer, well. Number five, they went to bed early because they felt tired but happy. What is the correct answer? early. Did you get all the correct answers? You're doing great! Children, did you ever experience having a dream that you thought was real? Let us read a short story about a boy who had the experience to travel in a magical kingdom. But before we will read the story, we will know first the difficult words that we will encounter. Okay? Number one. Blanc is a man who has some magical powers, especially in legends and fairy tales. Number two. Blanc is a place of fantasy or make-believe. Number three. Blanc is a display of effects created by fireworks devices on various occasions. Find your answers inside the box. Okay, we have fireworks display, magical kingdom, moonlight parade, wizard. This time, let's check your answers. Number one, wizard. Number two, Magical Kingdom Number 3 Fireworks Display Did you got it? Very good! Now, we will read and listen to the story. Adventure to Remember Kill was looking at the clouds one afternoon while he laid on the grass. He was thinking about what is above those white and cottony clouds. Are there kids up there whom he can play with? Do they have toys the same as his? Do their parents allow them to play outside their houses? Are they free from the COVID-19 pandemic? These are the questions that play in his mind. Kill felt sad often because in the past few months, he was not able to do his usual habits like playing with his friends. Kill was thinking deeply when a white big cat appeared in front of him. It is smiling broadly, which is unusual for a cat. Its tail was positioned straight in the air as it was happy to see him. He was about to rub the cat when it ran quickly away from him. Kill was tempted to run after the cat. He didn't notice that he had gone far. He was amazed when he saw the cat floated over the rainbow. He followed it until it reached its destination. He saw an open gate at the kingdom. The cat looked back at him still smiling and said, 
Welcome to our magical kingdom. Kill was frightened when he realized that the cat was speaking but still asked it courageously. Where am I? The cat didn't answer and suddenly it disappeared like a bubble. Kill entered in the magical kingdom. He was welcomed by a wizard. He saw many children riding on different rides. All were smiling and laughing. He was standing when a group of children approached him. They invited him to come with them and try the different rides. They first rode on a hot air balloon in which riders leave the world behind and enjoy the excitement of flight. The ride has 10 colorful balloons that rise off the ground and spin, taking the riders up, up, away. After the first ride, they tried to experience the adventure of riding a dinosaur just like in the movies. They choose from the six dinosaur tubs to ride and maneuver it up and down while it revolves around the central point. Kill was enjoying the company of his new funk friends. So they choose anonymously the third ride, which is the bouncing boulder, a mini tower ride that can carry at least six passengers to a height of approximately 10 meters, then quickly drops in a series of short drops. They were tireless and enjoying each other's company, so they also tried other rides until they heard an announcement. Everyone was asked to ready themselves for the magical moonlight parade. At the end of the end, they witnessed the colorful fireworks display. As Kill was looking in the fireworks display, he wished that his family was also there to witness what he saw. He missed them suddenly and closed his eyes. He felt someone was tapping his cheeks. He opened his eyes slowly and saw her mother. It seems that you have a great dream. You were smiling before I tapped your cheeks, said mother. Kill realized that it was all a dream. I really experienced a dream like that. I thought it was true. He said he started to narrate his adventure to mother on their way back home. Kids, did you enjoy the magical adventure of Kill? Did you understand the story? This time, let us answer the questions. Number one, what is the story about? Anybody? Yes? The story is about a boy who dream about a magical kingdom. Exactly right. Number two, who are the characters of the story? Anybody? Yes! We have Kill, the White Cat, Wizard, the New Found Friends, and Mother. Exactly right! Number three, when did the story happen? Anybody? Yes? It happens one afternoon. Number four. Where did Kill lay? Answer. Yes. Kill lay on a grass. Yes. Number five. What did Kill realize when her mother tapped his cheeks? Anybody? Yes, it is all a dream. Excellent kids, good job. The story that you have read contains different kinds of adverbs. Now, what are the underlined words in the story? We have one afternoon on the grass above deeply broadly straight in the air 
and quickly away from him, floated over the rainbow, courageously, suddenly, in the magical kingdom, in a hot air balloon. All those words are adverbs. Now, what is an adverb? Yes, an adverb is a word which modifies the meaning of a verb or an adjective or another adverb. It answers the questions how often, when, how, and where. This afternoon, we will be learning the different kinds of adverbs. Number one, we have adverb of time. When we say adverb of time, it answers the questions when. It tells us when an action happened. It tells how long and how often the action has been done. Here are some of the examples of adverbs of time. We have always, already, last, later, before, daily, early, next, now, today, sometimes, soon, tomorrow, tonight, yesterday. Now, we will use those words in a sentence. Number one, Kill was looking at the clouds one afternoon. Number two, Kill felt sad often. Number three, Kill dreams about the magical kingdom always. When the sky look at the clouds. One afternoon. Number two. How frequent Kyle felt sad. Often. Number three. How often Kyle dreams of the magical kingdom. Always. One afternoon. Often, always are adverbs of time. That's right. Another kind of adverbs is adverb of manner. When we say adverb of manner, it answers the questions how. It tells how something happened. It is usually placed after the main verb or after the object. Many of the adverbs of manner in the English language end with the suffix ly. Here are some of the examples of adverbs of manner. We have clearly, closely, kindly, loudly, powerfully, quickly, rapidly, silently, Slowly, successfully, punctually, justly, tenderly, accidentally, sharply. Now we will use this in a sentence. Number one, Kill was thinking deeply. Number two, it is smiling broadly, which is unusual for a cat. Number three, the cat ran quickly away from him. Number one, how Kale think? Yes, Kale think deeply. Number two, how the cat smiles? The cat smiles broadly, exactly. Number three, how quick the cat ran? The cat ran quickly. Deeply, broadly, quickly, or what? Yes. Adverbs of manner. The third kind of adverbs is adverb of place. Adverb of place answers the questions where. It describes where something happens. Here are some of the examples of adverbs of place. Anywhere, backward, down, swear, towards, under, above, behind, downstairs, 
upstairs, there, up, abroad, back, outside. So let's use this in the sentence. Kale was looking at the clouds one afternoon, but he laid on the grass. Kale was thinking deeply when a white big cat appeared in front of him. Number three. Kale entered in the magical kingdom. Now, question number one. Where Kale played? Answer. Yes, on the grass. Number two. Where did the cat appear? Anybody? Yes. Front of him. Number three. Where did Kill enter? Exactly. Kill entered in the magical kingdom. On the grass, in front of him, in the magical kingdom, are what? Yes, these are adverbs of place. Very good, kids. Now, what values have you learned from our lesson based from the story? Anybody? You're right. All of us experience different kinds of dreams. But remember, not all dreams are real. But the dream that you dream will all be realized at the right place and at the right time. Here are some of the examples of adverbs of time. We have always, already, last, later, before, daily, early, next, now, today, sometimes, soon, tomorrow, tonight, yesterday. Now, we will use those words in a sentence. Number one. Kill was looking at the clouds one afternoon. Number two, Kill felt sad often. Number three, Kill dreams about the magical kingdom always. When the sky look at the clouds. One afternoon. Number two, how frequent Kyle felt sad. Often. Number three. How often Kale dreams of the magical kingdom? Always. One afternoon, often, always are adverbs of time. That's right. Another kind of adverbs is adverb of manner. When we say adverb of manner, it answers the questions how, it tells how something happened, it is usually placed after. You're doing great kids! Now, what are the three kinds of adverbs? Yes. Yes, number one, we have adverb of time. It answers the questions where. It tells us when an action happened. It tells us how long, how often the action has been done. Second, adverb of manner. It answers the questions how. It tells how something happened. It is usually placed after the main verb of the, the object. Many of the adverb of manner in English language and with the suffix ly. Third, adverb of place. It answers the questions where. It describes where something happens. Now, let us assess. Complete the sentences by adding the correct adverb. Write the letter of the correct answer on the space provided. Number one. Many of our ancestors lived blank this land. A. 
free, B. Will, C. Freely. Number two, the doctor examined his patient blank. A. Careful, B. Carefully, C. Safe. Number three, I need to go to the bank blank. A. Generally, B. Later, C. Never. Four, when it rains, the children have to play blank the house. A. Indoors, B. Outside, C. Inside. Last number, number five. If something is moving blank, you, it is getting closer. A. Downward, B. Inward, C. Towards. Now, let us check your answer. Number one, what's the answer? Yes, letter C. Number two, what's the correct answer? Yes, letter B, carefully. Number three, letter B, later. Number four, what is your answer? Yes, letter C, inside. And number five, you're right, C, towards. For your assignment, complete the sentences by adding the correct adverbs of place, time, and manner. Write your answers on the space provided. Okay? Number one. The children love to play blank. Number two, Carla answered the question blank. Number three, Shela waters the plant blank. Number four, Jose blank tells a lie. Five, a lawyer explained the case blank. Okay, well done kids! Always remember, develop a passion for learning. If you do, you will never cease to grow. That's all for today. I am teacher Arlene S. Sementisa saying, Bye, be safe, and God bless!